Hey beautiful people, hope this finds you well. So we've got a really lovely question that has come up. Um, the one that we're going to explore this afternoon, it's come up from one of our wonderful subscribers to the channel. And the question is, Shane, when someone passes over, how long before their spirit can be contacted? Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, this is a question that over time that has come up um, either via consulting or through the channel. Um, and it's one that has so much kind of layers to it. And there's a few really deep threads that I want to explore, um, that I really want to get my teeth into with you and for you. So let's roll back in time to when I first developed as I was developing there um, alongside my uncle, so 26, 25 years ago, and also my dad. Individually, we all kind of started to develop um, individually and then collectively uh, as if it all happened by chance. Um, my dad exploring the world of therapy, energy healing, energy medicine. Uh, my uncle exploring the world of healing um and therapy and also mediumship and myself coming at this from a mediumship and later holistic mediumship perspective um all of this happening by chance but never by chance it is always by design and at the time um we were sitting in um, a development group at a local spiritualist church lots of stories about that uh, it was for a short period of time but one of the things that we were told at the time is that for spirit to make contact that they would need to been passed for at least a year and i think you know there is um there is a kind of concrete thought behind that however that did not turn out to be the truth of the situation i think there's a there's a healthy approach to that but the reality turned out to be something very different in my experience here's one of the deep threads and the nuggets in this grass cutting going on outside so i apologize one of the one of the deep threads is that when we say how long before we can make contact with someone that's passed that's not let me explain that's not how this this actually works is that we can kind of make ourselves present we can make ourselves available but the truth of the matter is they come to us they make contact with us it is them that feel the contact it is them that bridge that gap it is them that move between and we move towards but it is about them moving into that space and we then move towards that okay but they initiate always initiate contact so in my experience it has been days weeks months years and all also it has been hours i don't think there is a rigidity i don't believe that there is a given template i believe wholeheartedly that it is something that is situation by situation it's person by person it's case by case okay i feel that going back all that time i can absolutely understand those elders and teachers within um the uh spiritual church community saying you know at least needs to be given a year i think there is a a, a healthy kind of mindset to that answer However, as I say, the truth or the reality of the situation it has been that it has been within hours, weeks, months and days. Um, you know, I'll give you a couple of examples of how that has shown up. I mean, I can remember um, 
it's only in the past few years um, this one where a gentleman had gone very traumatically he had passed very traumatically there was a lot of trauma in his life leading up to his traumatic passing when he come through there was a sense of him showing us a really huge waterfall as if he was sitting at the base of that waterfall um, and he was swimming in the water um, and the lady knew of this place it was a very special and sacred uh, sacred place sacred landscape um, with within the area that she lived uh, the um, indigenous people of that land saw that place as being very very sacred now the man that come through he followed um, a, an indigenous path he was almost absolutely gravitationally pulled towards those um, beliefs paths philosophies approaches um, and there was this deep sense of ease and grace as he swam in those waters um, as he um, stood under that underneath that waterfall as if it was deeply healing and deeply cleansing you know so he'd only been passed a very short amount of time but what I really take from that is that there was a healing process that was underway um, and you know if that be literal he was within those waters or it be absolutely metaphoric um, there was a healing process that was absolutely underway um, and you know there are there are places that hold so much energy um, you know healing um, without a doubt is the soul's journey you know we're, we're, we're continuously growing we're continuously evolving it is the evolution of the soul and you know some of those traumatic events that we go through are manure for the soul it's where the growth happens the most um, another another experience I had over the years was um, I said to this lady and it was her her father that come through is I can see him sitting in a really large manor house and he's sitting within a group of people because her words her question to me was um, how long before contact and what what are they doing that side of life really important questions and there was this image of this grand manor house um, and this old-fashioned vintage car and I could see him sitting in a circle of, of, of people who had just gone over and he was sitting there and it was like this this group of people all sitting together sharing their experiences sharing the 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 traumas behind them the trauma of passing and he was holding that space and it was this real deep feeling as if he was guiding uh, and helping those people um, find their feet um, spirit side of life and then I got this image of him sitting in the study within this large manor house and he was sitting there um, with a friend uh, who was wearing a cravat um, and, and, and a ja jacket and they were smoking cigars and drinking whiskey um, and the lady laughed and said that that's his dear friend that that sounds exactly like his dear friend who is only recently been passed and my dad when he was this side of life he was a mentor he loved manor houses um, and he absolutely loved vintage cars and had a vintage car you know so there was so much thread of confirmation and validation but what again we took from that is the that time frame of when contact can be made is very kind of fluid okay there's a fluidity to it and the other important thing is that you know it gives us an understanding that of the healing journey the journey that is undertaken when when we go uh, to spirit side of life when we go home um, there is this real sense of the journey is ongoing um, and also this feeling of there's a 
a sense of purpose um, again this sense of helping each other grow and evolve you know there's work to be done that side of life as well um, and there's a whole integration process you know I kind of believe um, that to know in our hearts um, that it is never ever um, never see you ever again goodbye um, you know in our experience they are still very much there we can still talk to them they can still see us they care about us <laughs> what fuels that contact is that love they have for us they listen, they listen to our prayers, our thoughts. Only yesterday we were in a consultation, you know, I saw this lady just kind of drop to her knees, reach up and ask for help. Um, they listen to our prayers, our hopes, our dreams, our anger, our sadness, and they watch. They watch us cry, sleep, and often cry some more. They watch us put our lives back together. They feel joy, overwhelming joy, when we have a victory, when we, we learn and grow and overcome our challenges. They know what's in our hearts. You know, often people would say to me, can you just say goodbye to my mom or my dad, my brother, my sister, my husband, my wife? And I always say, you just have, they hear you, they know what is in your hearts. Yet no life is an amazing gift, it is a huge amazing gift, and an experience. And they want you to live yours to the fullest potential. And they emanate that presence. If to say, I am here. So the next time you're alone and you feel, I don't feel as if I am alone, or maybe you're not. But when it comes to contact, it is driven by them. There isn't a fixed hard rule. There isn't a fixed hard rule. And what fuels it all is their love for us hope that's helped really lovely question to explore um, and if you have questions for me please do leave them in the comments um, and until next time keep shining